So today we're gonna start actually assembling our torpedo pot system. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm configuring how I'm gonna set up the watering hose to be able to make it connect past the garage all the way across. So these are two 16 inch planters that we're gonna use for the front. So now what we're about to do is about to connect the system together and we're gonna connect these four planters of just one line and this is just for this side of the house. And uh, we'll show you how we'll set up the timer on the side of the house on that side. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So stay tuned. So yeah, we're gonna connect the uh, female tube, the female uh, hose connector to your timer and then to your water hose. So it's just a very simple process. Takes about two minutes to do. The black part at the bottom, the female hose connector goes to the bottom of your timer. So you make sure that's kind of secure on there. And this is where your feeding line will go in. At the top part here, where you see the screen in there, this is where your water hose is gonna go into. And we're gonna start putting the black hose that we're cutting for each planter in this part. And this is a dual timer, so this is why this one is right here. I can set up another section um, if I wanted to, but I have a separate timer for the other side of the house. So now we're going to put our feeding tube into the bottom of this piece that I was talking about. So we put the feeding tube right in the bottom. That's locked in there. And we're gonna cut it to go in the back of this. And we're gonna cut another piece to go in the other side of it, because this is a, a stem splitter. And this, the next side of the line will go into the second planter. So let's get that going. The first piece doesn't have to be that long here because it's only going from the end of this right into this first planter. That's the first piece that's gonna get connected. So that piece can be relatively short. That's the uh, tube cutter that comes with your kit. And it's a simple snap. And that's it. So we cut that. And we're just gonna plug this right into the back of this. Okay. So the first one is connected and this whole process takes about, you know, 20, 30 minutes, depending on, you know, where you're at in the process is cutting your hoses and doing all that kind of stuff. So really simple. Yeah, if you're trying to like do more, like we're doing, it's trying to like get some pieces where we can adjust your, our timers later. But um, for now, it's gonna be perfectly fine. So now we're gonna stretch this next piece from this first planter to the second planter right here. And you just push it right in, nice little push. Give it a little tug, make sure it's in there. Okay, so that's it for that. And now we're just gonna <clears throat> stretch it out to measure it to see where we're at with the core to get it all the way over here. And we were gonna drill the holes to kind of keep the line up against the, uh, wall, the, the wall of the garage floor, but we're gonna use the tape instead. It's a uh, alien double-sided tape. It works really good, it's really strong. So we're gonna test that out in this first place. Piece of tape, and then we're going to kind of stretch it out a little bit because it does stretch. And we're going to wrap it um, all the way around to where their tape is touching the other side. Yep, so. Yeah, so that's a good strong connector and we're just gonna do that all the way across just in a couple of different places. So that first one, we wanna make sure that we are kind of putting it more towards this side that's gonna stick so that it closes all the way. It's real sticky too.
will cut from this end and just connect this last planter. moment of truth so i disconnected the timer and just hooked the female hose up directly to the water hose and um, we'll kind of take a look to see if each planter is getting water Other three, these are 20 inch planters. So these are good to grow everything. Watermelons, cantaloupes, small trees, lemon trees. Uh, we're growing pretty much everything in these right now. So these are our 20 inch planters, our largest size. Um, so we're gonna just do this whole side now. It's just gonna be on his own system. We got some stones here from Lowe's. Picked up some stones from Lowe's. And a couple of stands that we got, metal stands, just kind of get good water flow when the other planters are on concrete. So it would be a good even flow. The access water has a place to drain and the planters have holes at the bottom for the extra drainage as well. So now all we're gonna do is just gonna run a line from these four planters right here to the other side. Now we're under using our planters and system because one spigot can water up to 13 to 300 planters of just one water spigot. So we could easily hook up every one of these planters to just one system, but we just wanted to space it out here in the middle and not have a line running across because um, we could easily just keep going with the line all the way to this last planter and everything would have got watered evenly and uh, simultaneously too. And that still wouldn't have been the max that you can do. So this system is incredible because you only use 10% water. 10% um, water is gonna go through all of these. So you're saving on your water and it's fully automated. So once we get this process done right here, which takes the most time of setting them up, um, putting your soil in there and planting, after that it's fully automated. You hook it up to your timer that we're gonna show you and everything's gonna happen on its own. We will only literally come out here and just look at what's going on, seeing if there's any excess water coming out to kind of turn back our water, just to make sure that everything's not being overwatered. Uh, other than that, you won't do anything. You guys are going to watch this grow and take off amazingly. So just stay tuned for that. Pulsate and drip like that. Same thing here. You want to keep that feeding stick, feeding tube moist. You don't want to let it dry out. All right, so we're gonna put add some soil to our planters. Um, this is a bag of organic performance. Try to get organic soil as possible. Uh, mushroom soil is good. Just any kind of soil works. You don't have to be really soil specific. Just sit in there and kind of dry out a little bit. It's real moist though. So we want it to be a little drier, but we'll dry it out.
master. So it's just like live scene? It's not alive yet. So it doesn't have a symbiosis in it. The bacteria, the fungus, the um, all that stuff gets started once you add the water and then it begins to create the life inside the soil. So that's what we're trying to do is create the environment that plants love to thrive in and eat. Master.